Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my studio, Baker Street. So some of you know that when I moved to Tel Aviv nearly three years ago, I had a dream of opening a cake decorating studio. So when I met my business partner Liat, we had the exact same dream and two years ago we opened Baker Street and I've been promising you a tour of the studio, so here it is and let's go see it. So this is the entrance to the studio. We've got our sign and our plant wall. Now this plant wall is something that we had in mind from the very start. We love plants. I think they're so welcoming. There's actually an old bed frame that we found on the street. And then we had someone tie these amazing pots to it. And we think the plants have done pretty well considering we're slightly underground and it's been two and a half years. I just love this wall. It's like our little pride. Also, great photo opportunity for cakes. So this entrance looked very different before we moved in. It actually used to be a tattoo studio and hairdresser. So this whole thing was covered in graffiti. We've even got a little bit of residue over here. And so now coming inside the studio, when customers arrive, they're invited to sit in our waiting area where there's a nice sofa, chair, more plants, of course. And we usually have things to eat like snacks and drinks while they're waiting for their workshop. So the feature of the studio that we loved the most when we first came to see it were these shelves. So these were already here and we imagined that this is where we're going to be displaying our products and also just used for decorating. And over the last two years, it's really packed out into exactly that. We've got cake tins that we sell, cake stands that I actually bought from the UK, and also things like leftover meringue kisses from workshop because they're an excellent decoration, and some cookery books and of course sprinkles. And if you look closely, you'll be able to see a familiar face. So this is when I worked with the Royal British Legion and they published a wonderful recipe book. And I've got a feature, so it only makes sense to put it on display at the studio. Now these usually aren't here, but because it's Christmas time, we got these cute little Christmas decorations. And so I decided to bring Christmas to Tel Aviv this year. How cute is that? A little pine cone and a bow. And this is the main space of the studio where we hold the workshops. So we wanted it to be more of a communal feel, hence why we chose one large table rather than individual ones. So everyone's working together all the time. And this is our baby. We actually designed the central unit. It's got the marble surface and all the underneath are covered with electricity points for all the mixers and any other electrical appliances. We absolutely love this unit. We can see we've got our signature colour underneath as well. And the best part is that it neatly fits the stools underneath too. So this is where all the magic happens. So like I said, under each station there are cupboards. Now I'm not going to bore you in showing inside every single cupboard, but this is my favourite one. <laughs> this is the cupboard that everyone gets excited for because it's our sprinkle cupboard, where we also keep our cookie cutters and colours as well. So when we first designed this table, we actually wanted each workspace to have its own cupboard with everything they needed for the workshop. For example, a pallet knife, a scraper, a turntable. But the more workshops we did, the more we realised how annoying it was to put away one pallet knife here, one scraper here, and so we decided to completely scrap it. And now all the cupboards are filled with their individual items. So for example, the sprinkles cupboard, the cake board cupboard, the piping bag cupboard. They all have different cupboards and everything is so much more organised and better that way. So we wanted to keep the studio with a friendly, casual feel. And so rather than getting chef jackets, we opted for aprons with our logo. And I swear, when we first got these aprons, it was like a month after we opened and we suddenly felt so real and we were like, oh my God, I can't believe it's happening. But here they are and we've got about 50 of them. So we go through a lot of aprons here, a lot of washing too. So how can we ignore our mixers? So we decided to get KitchenAids because they come in the most gorgeous color and also they're fantastic mixers. We actually wanted 10 originally, but because we opened during COVID, there was a global shortage of KitchenAids. So we still wanted white and I think the pistachio color, um, but they were unable to get to us in time. So we actually only got seven, but the colors work perfectly with the palette of the studio. And it's one of the things that everyone comes in and sees and just goes, wow. And usually I want the pink one. Cause pink's obviously the best color, right? 
So when Liat and I teach our workshops, we usually stand here facing everyone. And so everyone is facing this end, mainly because we have our lovely big sign here, but also this is our display table, where at the end of the workshop, we like to display all the cakes made and take lots of lovely photos of them. So on our display table, we actually also keep our piping tips and colours because we usually need them for every workshop. And if you've ever owned multiple piping tips, you'll know how annoying they are to store. And we actually bought these nail varnish holders and they work amazingly well, both for the piping tips and the colour. Easy reach, kept organised and people love seeing them too. So at the other end of our studio, we have our fridge, which is not only huge and not just where we keep our cool ingredients, but we also keep some of our cakes from our workshops for display or to serve on our next workshop. And the faces that people pull when they open that fridge is just amazing. You want to see inside? You can see that we've got some of our cold ingredients in here and also things like water that we serve our customers but also we have to keep our flour here just because of the temperature in Israel it can get so hot and we can get bugs so it's best to keep open bags of flour in the fridge and of course we have our cakes so this is a mixture of cakes that we did from last week but also from a few months ago that we just like keeping in the fridge because people love seeing them and it's a great way to advertise what else we can do in the studio. So like I said, we totally transformed this place from being a tattoo studio to what it is now. And basically the walls and the floor were pretty much okay. The only construction we had to do was put in this wall to separate the dirty area where the sink and washing up is, which is through here. But to be honest, we don't need to go there. You know what a sink looks like. So the fact that there was a bathroom already in the studio saved us a lot of worry and a lot of money when we were looking at places because some places you get and they don't even have a bathroom. So if you want to follow me inside, we made it as pretty as possible. So when we got here, all these toilet doors actually had a huge banana print on. That as cute as they were, it wasn't quite our vibe. So we got rid of them, painted them nice and peach to make it nice and bright. And also my mum's an artist and we've got her paintings on the back of the doors here, which at first she was a bit annoyed at because she was like, why have you put my paintings in the bathroom? But I think it's genius. Everyone gets to see them and they're so pretty. <laughs> and also we've decorated it with some details like the lighting, some plants and diffuser, of course. And we've got our favorite hashtag on the wall, nice buttons. So our last room on the tour is the kitchen. So this is where we do all the baking, which is separate from the studio's main space. We actually have this wonderful glass window that you can see into the studio and for people to see from the studio inside as well. This was already here. It was an amazing feature that we used advantage of. So our workshops are cake decorating workshops. There's not enough time to do the baking and the cake decorating in the same workshop. So we have to bake all the cakes in advance and we do it in here. So in this room is where we keep all our cake ingredients and equipment. So this is where we keep our mixer bowls, our cake tins, cupcake trays, cooling racks. We've also got other sized cake tins for when me and Liat do our own orders or want to try something new. This is basically our space where we can keep all our cake stuff away from home, which is perfect. So this is also where we keep all of our dry ingredients, things like sugar, clothes bags of flour, and anything that's opened as well. So you can see how much sugar we have here, and we've even got more over there. And it's because for each workshop, we go through about five kilos of sugar. So we have a constant supply. This is so heavy to bring in, so we try and do it at least as possible. But this is where we keep all of our sugar. And these two boxes are my favorite. This is where we keep anything that's open. So it could be open packets of ingredients that we don't always use, but also leftovers. And it's gingerbread season at the moment. And this box is full of gingerbread leftovers. Let's see what we've got in here. Mmm, it smells delicious. I might take one. Mmm, yum. Don't tell me that. And we've got two larger mixers in here. Of course, when you're making lots of cake, a bigger mixer is best. Now this mixer is actually my first ever mixer that I bought when I founded George's Cakes and it's still working perfectly. And then we have our ovens. And so we built this whole unit to house our three ovens. We don't actually have industrial ovens. It may be something that we get in the future, but at the moment, these three home-sized ovens work perfectly for our needs and they just work so well. 
So we do have an additional fridge and that is for our butter. You can imagine how much butter we get through when we're doing our cake decorating workshops. Seeing as pretty much everything is buttercream, and if you know me, I love my butter. And a fun fact about living in Israel and finding butter is that it can go missing. Sometimes there are just shortages from the supermarket. So it's always important for us at least to have a good supply of your butter kept in a fridge, which is why we've got this here. So we've done all the inside of the studio and now this is the outside. But before we get to the very entrance, I just want to talk about this sign. Now, obviously, hopefully you've got the English play on words of Baker Street. It's named after the famous road in London. And I would love to have a Baker Street road sign. So I ordered one of these online, not realizing actually how small it was. I thought it was an actual road sign size. And then this turned up, so we put it on our post box. So this is the studio from the outside. Sorry about the knocking, but we are next to a main road and there's loads of construction going on. But this sign is our baby. It actually took over a year for us to get. And when we did get it, Liat and I had to carry it to the studio in our car over our heads and it was so big it was sticking out the boot everyone thought we were crazy doing it but we got it here and we got it in and look how beautiful it is and it can be seen from the main road to draw people in so there we have it we've come to the end of the studio tour i hope you enjoyed seeing the studio and if you're ever in tel aviv please come by and say hi it would be great to meet you or even come to a cake decorating workshop yourself in the meantime we'll see you very soon on my channel with more cake decorating tutorials